I met Charles Maddox on Facebook through a friend of mine, Joe Aquilino. He has a lot of shows and does a lot of awareness uh, for RSD, CRPS. I was introduced to him and was told he was going to be making a film about RSD, a documentary. And I was very, very excited about this. Uh, thought to myself, wow, finally somebody's going to give us a voice. Uh, I talked to Charles numerous times, and he's very sincere, very motivated and dedicated to this film because he wants to bring awareness. And I didn't find out at first, but I did find out as the process went along that his mom has RSD. And that, that was a little sad to hear that you would have to meet someone under those circumstances. But I guess everything happens for a reason. I'm very excited and, and very thankful for Charles to take the time out of his life to dedicate to this film. It's very important to educate people, doctors, nurses, uh, family members, friends. They need to know. They need to know what we go through on a daily basis. And they need to, to be able to understand. And hopefully this film, hopefully this film will shed some light on that. Um, I'd really like to thank Charles for for doing this film and having RSD for over 15 years I've tried to make my voice heard I'm a musician so we we kind of do it through music and I have a band with my two sons nine foot squirrel and it just shows you know I try to try to mention RSD awareness, you know, try to keep people up to speed because I play a little different. Uh, I play bass and sing, um, but I use a different method, you know, I have to wear arm bands and uh, my hand swells up really bad so I have to use a thumb pick and, and different things. So people ask questions which gives me the opportunity to let them, you know, enlighten them on RSD. So we decided to write a, write a song for Charles and for his film and give it to him. Uh, the song is called Burning. And we also made it available for download online, which all proceeds are going to the rsdsa.org for RSD research. So hopefully uh, doing my part on helping him get awareness out because, you know, combine music and movies, you know, you can reach a larger audience and hopefully it will help someone. I was diagnosed with RSD in 1999 after a chronic attack. I had been a plumber for most of my life and was working on a farm and was blindsided by a billy goat. Uh, shattered my knees, you know, all the normal contusions and bumps and bruises from that, but uh, after the mechanical damage was fixed, there was still this burning pain. And 15 years ago, the, uh, not a lot was known about RSD. Um, I went through a literal hell trying to find a doctor that knew anything. I was told it was you know, uh, a nerve problem, a neurological problem, a skeletal problem, and then when they couldn't find anything in the x-rays and MRIs and all the exams, then they started saying, oh, maybe it's all in your head. Um, you know, some doctors even went as far as you're faking, um, you know, the normal stuff, and I'm sure a lot of people with RSD has gone through the same exact thing. And then there's the 
the medication part of it where you know you you don't want to take it I don't want to take any of it um, but you always feel well, everybody does but I do you always feel like everybody's staring at you and thinking oh they're just you know they just want the drugs but no that's not the case at all what we really want is our normal lives back None of us want to be hurting. None of us want to be taking these pills and patches and acupuncture and nerve blocks. None of us want to be doing that. And I can guarantee you that none of us want to be doing that. We just want our normal lives back with our family and friends. But we make the best of it, the best we can do under the circumstances. years later, there are a lot of doctors now, a lot of advocates like Charles and Joe and myself uh, taking different angles to try and get the awareness out there, try to make people see that this is this is something that needs attention because so many people suffer from it. So my advice to anyone new that's new to this, or just diagnosed or have a friend or a loved one that's just been diagnosed, be patient. Please be patient with them. The slightest thing can set it off. Have some empathy and some patience. That's the biggest thing. Try not to get angry. I know it's going to be frustrating. They're going to be grumpy. They're going to be tired. They're not going to be able to do the things that they used to do. But they're going to do the best they can if they have the support from their family and friends. So I hope as you watch this film, let it, you know, let it sink in. And really think about it. What we go through. We just want someone to understand. That's all we want. And of course, less pain. And hopefully someday a cure. But for right now, just the understanding and the patience and the love from friends and family is a huge start. And hopefully this film will bring the attention to this disease that we need because we really need to focus on this and find a cure. Well, that's about it for me. Bye.